Hello everyone, ignore me. I'm a little bit out of breath. <laughs> I've just been packing loads of stuff for Western Lawns, just getting everything ready, which means this is the Western Lawns Young Horse Show vlog. No, she got the good vibes when seasons change, but we're the same. Even if I lost all my money, the zero runs deep on it. And I don't need to speak a single word. around quick um i remember booking the show when mary was literally only just broken in and i remember my mum being like it's a little bit cocky curious to be booking that when you haven't even jumped on the saddle yet and um maybe we're not 100 percent ready but i've spoken to a couple of people and everyone says you know it'd be a great experience for her i remember my first ever stairway show on ryan was actually his second ever show as well and we went to Bury farm for their indoor show and that was such a scary spooky arena and he really rose to the occasion he got better and better as the days went on so i'm hoping fingers crossed she's gonna be the same um we're off to western Lawns tomorrow um for their as i said the young horse show she is jumping we're jumping from so we're going tomorrow which is wednesday um and then we're back on monday so it's a long long show actually for our first ever time away from home but i'm hoping because it's long she'll have longer to settle in um and just be a bit more chilled so we're there for six days in total well, not six full days but we're there for six days five nights i am jumping i think thursday friday saturday she has sunday off and then jumping monday um we're jumping the four-year-olds which is 90 but it's gonna be built a lot smaller and a lot of people said to me they build tiny there so fingers crossed it's smaller and because it's obviously it's a four-year-old class um there's gonna be ground lines and it's just gonna be hopefully a really nice flowy course for her um, a lot better than the course we did at the show last weekend and um, when the distances were just ridiculously short um so yeah fingers crossed it'll be a really nice positive experience for her i started packing everything like i said i'll show you now kind of what we've got packed and what we're getting packed um and now i'm gonna go have some lunch because i am so hungry and then i need to ride mary um now I'm going to lunge Mary, I need to ride Ryan and I need to get Mary ready, give her a little trim up and a bath. Ready to leave tomorrow at around 11 o'clock. Looking at the moment. Black box. Packing. So the majority of the packing is done. I'm just going to quickly show you guys what we've got packed. Let you have a little look and then the rest of it's going to be packed tomorrow morning. So, this locker is pretty empty at the moment because I need to put um, grooming kit and then Lily's bridles are now here. As my friend Lily's coming with us, Mary's bridle was there with her little red ribbon. Uh, lunge line to hand walk her because I don't know what she's going to be like. Treats, some shampoo, muscle wash, and there is a sponge to switch paper underneath these buckets. And then the big locker is a bit busier. So <laughs> Lily's saddles are going here. I've got the Equilin ma magnetic rug there, half pad, gel pad, girth, saddle, all cleaned, boots all cleaned, bandages to ride her in. Um, I've just got fly valves, loads of wash stuff, cleaning stuff, grass blocks for Mary to keep her occupied. Oh, and then in here, I've got my pink mash for Mary. Close that up. In the back, loads of hay, saddle racks, black box, which has got all my stuff in it to go by the stable, freezer, obviously all the ice boots and food in there, table, but outside the lorry, a big rug, the rest of my rugs are in there, carpet to put down in the back. Wilbur needs to go in with a fork and a broom tomorrow morning. And then we've got in here, mum's all clean this out. Look at it. Um, boots, hat. Um, camera, uh, shavings, one of my feed buckets, feeds are over there. Can't see, so I'll show you in the morning, but Mary. And now I'm covered in hair. My face is covered in hair. Um, probably wasn't a good, good decision, but 
Screw it. Good morning, guys. It is Western Long Day. We are leaving around half 11, I think. I meant to leave at 11, but my friend's not going to be here then. Um, as Lily's coming with us again. So, outfit of the day. We have my Feedmark polo top with my Maid Dolores breeches, belt. I have my Kings and socks on this time as my Maid Dolores socks are in my suitcase, ready to go. And then I've also got I've also got my little Maya Dolores cardigan jumper that I'm going to bring as well as it's a little bit chilly. I mean, it's warm, but I think we're so used to the warm weather now after the last couple of weeks. It's a little bit chilly out there where it's a bit windy today. So I've got this just in case I get a little bit of a chill. Um, so I just need to pack all my clothes, which are all on here. I need to take all of them over the yard, put them in the lorry. I need to dot my suitcase, put that in the lorry. And then I just need to finish packing um stuff over in the lorry like wheelbarrow fork broom um and then it'll just be down to getting mary in really and um getting her cleaned up i clipped her last night don't know why i decided to do that i get too carried away and then i regret it afterwards um she didn't actually really need a clip she wasn't actually that furry but i just love a fresh clip so i clipped her and i decided to start clipping her at seven o'clock last night so by the time um i'd finished well it was getting dark and the light in her sail isn't great and the the wash bay was locked up already so i couldn't be able to go back and go back to the house and get the keys um so i literally had to clip her face and half her body in the dark and i come over this morning and it looks terrible so we're gonna be cleaning up her clip as well i'm gonna be getting them clips back out and cleaning that up um i might give her a bath it depends on how warm it is May give her a bath. If not, I'll just hot oil her and wash her legs and her towel. So, yeah, that's the plan for today. And then we'll get going and get there early so we can unpack and ride this afternoon. Close it in. Laurie's been turned around. Just need to take over some trainers and my suitcase. That's my jumper on. It is a little bit chilly when that wind blows. Mary's having a morning out in the field. Ready to go. Wearing her Ecro rug. Pretty girl. Give her a little hand graze now before we leave. One. You just want to leave? Yeah, I know you want to leave. I know. Now, Laurie's here. Perfect space. Hey, pal. Hey, dearie, Nini. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> this is what I should have done as a first show. That is yeah. tiny. It's the main I'm going to... Mary 80. Tomorrow. This is more like it for Mary, this. Love this. It's more like it. No, it's who's even smaller. But I'm not complaining because... This is what her first show should have been. To ride. Really? Ride. Do you want 
Charlie. I'm walking to you. Hi. No. <laughs> He's over there. Johnny. Time for crazy girl. Go back. Go back. Crazy. Go back. Yeah. Yummy. Oh, we're throwing it everywhere. Stalking Mary out the window. That's how close we are. Go to Laurie now to finish it. Mary off. Oh, much heat. Quickie time for Mary. Just making her out. Hey, that's our... These horses are so fucking annoying. I literally couldn't sleep. Could not sleep. Um, I went to bed at 12. And then I woke up at 2. And then I've just woke up at 5. And then I ended up laying in bed for an hour and getting up. So. Morning hand rookies. Ants in the pants, ants in the pants. Crazy. Yeah, I just want to get out there and jump. Oh. Boop. Yeah. She doesn't want to stand still. I don't want to pose. I don't want to pose. Maybe it's Brilliant. That was the nicest round she's done. Unfortunately, yeah. that pole rolls at 10. 64.57 is the time for she is, Pearl. She was so good to the pole. Look how very much time for the good girl. Yummy. Oh, she's getting everywhere.
Well done. So our first double clear then. So well done to Keris and N Makoba in a time of 45.51. Oh my God, ignore my sweaty head. I'm just turning the TV off. Mary was an absolute angel. So she just had a, a little silly pole in the AT. I think it was a bit small for her, to be honest. Um, so she just kind of tapped it. I think she got a bit complacent. Um, and then the four-year-old went clear. Um, I'll update you guys properly later, but I'm so, so happy with her, honestly. She's an absolute angel. She was so well behaved. Didn't look at a thing. Um, yeah, I couldn't be happy with her. We're going to pull her out of the four-year-olds tomorrow um, because it's in the same arena and she doesn't need to jump it. She's qualified now. And then she'll have tomorrow off, jump the four-year-old qualify in the main arena on Saturday, have Sunday off, and then the Grand Prix on Monday, the four-year-old final. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, I've just got to go out now and help my friends jump, and then I'll speak to you guys later. Look, it's your rosette. It's your rosette. It's yours. Clever girl. Lovely. Do time. Yummy. Ouch. Thank you. Huh? I'm gonna go for a okay. Thank you. She's like, I'm trying to escape. I bet it's made. Well, I can actually see it. Hmm? Well, I can actually see it. Mary moved to bed. Made her hang it for the morning. Off to bed. It's a long day, it's been. Um, yeah, just a long, long day. Um, Mary obviously jumped incredible. I'm so, so happy with her. Um, she had just one silly pole in the 80, which you'd have seen. It was just like towards the end. She just got a bit complacent, I think, and just had it down. Put my finger. Um, and jumped an amazing double clear in the discover discovery in the four hour qualifier. So proud of her. Her first ever clear round show jumping at only her second of a show. Couldn't be happier. Um, absolute superstar. Got so many compliments about her. She's such an angel, honestly. Um, she's a bit stressed in the stable, I'm not going to lie. She's not happy about being in. But, like, to ride, she's been absolutely incredible. I'm so, so happy with her. So we pulled her out of the four-year-old tomorrow. Um, she'll have a day off tomorrow. I'm probably going to give her a little lunge. And she can have quite a few hand walks and just a chill day. And then Saturday, she's jumping the four-year-old qualifier in the main arena. Um, Sunday, again, another chill day. And then Monday, she's jumping the four-year-old final, um, which again is in the main arena, which is why I wanted I want to jump the qualifier on Saturday for that, just to get her in there, familiarised with the arena. Um, and then both of my friends, Lily, they both called Lily, jumped today. Um, one of them fell off, <laughs> but how is this been a little shit? So... Um, Hopefully she's better tomorrow. And then my friend Lily qualified for the five-year-old final too. So that's great. Um, the Lily that come with us in the lorry. So yeah, it's been a really long day. I'm sorry for not updating you. I hate vlogging for like people. So I've been on the down low with the vlogging. Um, but I'm hopefully it will keep you updated as the days go on. Obviously probably not as much vlogging going on in the days off as there's nothing really interesting going on. But on the jump days, I'll definitely try and vlog as much as possible. Maybe try and get some warm up videos as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a shower now and get changed and we'll go to bed. He's got a hay, he's all mucked out. Oh, I just need to put water in now, which is there. Mm. Oh, Mary's having a lunchy. Lunchy, Mary, I've got to hold the bucket still. It didn't go everywhere. So Mary's for her lunch. Um, Lily jumped three five year olds today on Charlie. He was a really good boy. Um, Mary's obviously done nothing. I just gave her a quick lunge this morning um, just to let her have some steam. And she did. She had a good bucket of bronze kind of run around. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. She's just tried to come out the door. Um, so yeah. That's pretty much it. I've just been hand walking her today. She's eating her lunch, like I said. Um, I'm gonna give her a hay block. She's there, she's gonna have a feed mark grass block. Just keep her a little bit occupied. She's not having any grass here. There's no way to hand walk them. So yeah, that's the plan really. Lily's got to jump another class later. So I'll help her jump that on Charlie. And yeah, that's pretty much the plan. Very boring day today. Roman duties with Charlie. 
Charlie. He's snorting at me. Mum's like that. Baby. No, it looks very unimpressed. She's been rugged up, bandaged. Hot oiled. Yes, you have. You've been hot oiled. And it's very dusty in these stables. Um, we are second in the four year old qualifier tomorrow morning. Starts at, I think, 8.55. So, fingers crossed, she's a good girl in the main arena. Yes. I'm just going to take her for a walk now and then I'll put her bed down. And yeah, I'm going to go to bed. Come here. His bed's ready, when she comes back, just need to top her water up. Her hay net's over there, draining. As you can see, there she is. Mum's just taking her for a walk. Let's see if she goes in the same way. Huh? Big girl. Unfortunately, at the time, I didn't realise the music was playing, so I'm going to have to do a little voiceover of me walking the course because there's music playing in the background. So that was number one. This is number two. Here is Looney running around like a loon dick. <laughs> and then number three. Then number four, and then it was six strides down to number five, which was behind it. I actually thought they um, put the jumps up quite a lot from the um, first qualifier, and especially as Irina was a lot more spooky, I was a bit um, put off by it. Um, here is Looney being a cutie patootie. I love this little dog so much. She's such a little angel. Um, and then moving on to six. This line was very spooky from um, six to seven. Just look at it for a four-year-old. Like, it was very spooky, but it was... Yeah, six down to seven, and then eight was this big ox off the corner, um, down to nine, which was a long seven, or a short eight, and then ten off the corner, eleven, and then it was eight strides down to twelve, which did have a ground pile in the end. Um, it's a bit bigger than the last one, I'm not going to lie, um, and it's a little bit more technical. One of the distances isn't even a distance, I don't really know what's going on there, and this is the last jump, and it's eight strides down to this art right, which is very gappy, hasn't even got a ground line, and the gate's there. So I think that's definitely a bucket of heads for all of them. Tuesday, night night to Mary. Check, she's warm enough. It's a chilly. Um, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Because I'm tired. And um, Addy's off tomorrow. In there somewhere. She is. Here she is. No, no. Pretty time. I should back her out. Morning guys, it's day three at Western Lawns. I've just had a vet man, mucked her out, rinsed her feed back out. That's a hate from last night. Gave her a new licket, haven't we? Yeah. Okay. Water lickets behind the teddy bear. Okay, Larry. Happy girl? Yeah. These horses are doing my nothing. Hey Mary. So many horses that kick in the fucking door. I cannot deal. I cannot deal. Literally like five o'clock, we're woken up from kicking. Five o'clock in the morning. Can you not sleep? In her toaster. Nearly <laughs> really hiding behind her. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, the show was playing music whilst it was in the arena. So I have to um, mute this. Otherwise, I'm going to get copyrighted. So instead, I'm just going to talk you through my round. You know, you need to be graced with more of my talking. So I actually trotted her to number one, just in case she had a little spook and a run out. It was easier to keep her in. And then she just trotted the last few strides, popped that really nicely. And then she actually kept a really nice rhythmical canter coming into number two. So she jumped number two really lovely, especially if it was a little bit spooky. And then number three was a bit horrible. It was um off the entrance to the arena and they had all the stalls next to it. Bless her. Like she spooked, but she still jumped it. Uh, then number four, I got her way too deep. So she had that down. Completely my fault. Um, and then she jumped number five really nicely, even though the um distance was actually a little bit short for her, where she's quite big and has a really big stride. Um, and then I got her back together, come down this line as I knew it'd come up a bit short. And actually, she popped for it really, really nicely. 
um, considering how spooky is it, it is as well, he, she didn't even look at anything down that distance, um, she popped for it like a pro, um, and I felt like after that, we kind of got ourselves into a bit more of a rhythm, although she did still have another look at the stalls, which made our line to this next jump a bit awful, but she popped it lovely, should have seen, and then we actually added another down this distance here, um, just because she wasn't in that much of a forward canter, and I didn't want to race her down to it, so I just sat up and let her run a little bit deep, and actually she popped out really nicely, um, and then down to number 10, again, I ran her way too deep into it, and she's just so green, she just couldn't set herself up, bless her, and then I ran her deep into this, because I'm stupid, but bless her, she literally hopped and skipped over it, and then she came down this distance and jumped the last really, really nicely, um, and then I managed to turn her away before we ran out of the arena, but overall, I was really happy with her, those poles were completely my fault, I just kind of had hold of her head a little bit too much, but um, I couldn't be happier with her, to be honest, she was such an angel, and she's such a good girl. <laughs> was such a good girl she panicked she went in there and she shut herself bless her heart very spooky in there i wasn't really sure how she was going to react um but once we got her going she was an absolute angel really and the two poles were completely my fault i got her way too deep and she was just too um green to get herself out of the way at the moment especially over uprights um but i'm very happy with her she's just waiting for her recovery mesh which is on the floor over there she can see it you want your recovery mesh Please go to me. You have to wait, it hasn't soaked yet. She's on, I'm going to skip her out, just put her over there. I'm going to put her over here, hidden. I'm going to get changed and have some brekkie, because I'm hungry. You've had your brekkie, you've had your brekkie this morning. You should do it. It's like I'm fed up, just give me my food. Okay, come back. A recovery mesh. Yeah. Recovery mesh, recovery mesh. Ew, let me take your boots off. <laughs> He's like, yes, please. Thank you very much. Oh, good girl. Yeah, he's got another grass block. Go and eat your grass block. Yummy. Put it back in the bowl. Put it back in there. Lunch time. Midday hand walk, Mary. Whilst watching the horses warm me up. <laughs> this is a time to send you Charlie bit my finger. Yeah, I went from like laughing to then suddenly this woman wound me up so much I think it was more of a angry cry. An angry cry. Well, this isn't how I expected the next part of the vlog to be. Um unfortunately, as you would have seen from my last um videos, I've been at the hospital all afternoon, all evening. Um so my friend Lily who come with us, she um has been ill all day starting from last night like really ill but she can't even get couldn't even get out of bed um so my mum ended up taking her to the hospital well luckily a lovely girl called lucy who's here um drove my mum and lily to the hospital this afternoon um and lily has got a kidney infection so luckily they went up there and got some antibiotics for her otherwise it would have obviously got a lot worse and while she was gone me and scarlett who you might recognize from some of my vlogs she teaches me and mary um we were looking after the horses I was obviously looking after Lily's horse Charlie and we took him for a hand walk and I don't know what happened but on our way back literally as we were about to walk back into the barn um I had Luna on my left hand and Charlie my right hand and he just freaked out about something I don't know what it was I didn't see anything like there was nothing that should have spooked him but he completely spooked and just ran in the opposite direction um I managed to hold on to him but he like bent my finger back in the process and almost immediately I, I knew there was something majorly wrong um I mean obviously it happens all the time you know what horses are like I'm pretty sure all of us have bent our fingers back a couple of times while horses taken off um but I knew <laughs> automatically it wasn't just a normal thing and um I literally cried immediately um Scarlett come and took Charlie off of me and then I literally it was just throbbing and I it was awful honestly I nearly passed out about five times um we were on an hour in as to whether we were actually going to go to the hospital or not. Um, because obviously my mum was already at the hospital at the time with Lily. Um, 
and everyone was like quite a few people were like oh like it's just a broken finger you'll be fine like you know what us horse riders like just tape it up um tape it up and take some painkillers and you'll be fine um and then we went to the secretary to see if the A&E people were still there to see if they could tape it up for me and um one of the ladies in the secretary were like I think you should probably go to the um hospital because if it's dislocated not broken you're going to need it put back in otherwise you're just going to cause long-term damage for it so bless lucy she had to drive back from the hospital to pick me up to drive me back to the hospital um and then pick lily up and bring lily back um so we've been up the hospital since about six o'clock it's now i think about 10 we've just got back so we've got there for about four hours which isn't actually all that bad to be honest but not great news it's not um dislocated unfortunately um it's broken very badly i'll like insert pictures um in the corner for you guys to have a look um it's very badly broken it's like all the broken all the way through like completely snapped and i've also got two fractures as well um so basically they've kind of casted it for me just to keep it in place and as soon as we get home i need to go and see a hand surgeon um as i might need to well i probably will need pins in it um to kind of put it back in the right place again which is absolutely awful um i just hate stuff like that I it's honestly the worst outcome possible <laughs> Really bloody hurts. Um, I had like no sleep last night, not gonna lie. So yeah, not great. Um, in a lot of pain, I'm not gonna lie. Didn't actually think breaking a finger would be this painful. I'm not, it's a bit, it's a lot. Um, Mum just taking Mary for a walk um, whilst I sort of at her lunch. And then she's gonna have to skip her out and get back because I can't skip her out as this is my useful hand. Yeah. Love life. Live, love, laugh, right? So yeah, I've just, I'm on dog duty. I'm on Luna Petunia duty with my crippled hand. Honestly, don't recommend breaking a finger. It is very painful, very painful. Had a lunch, having a grass block, been mucked out, watered. Good girl. Oh, it's gonna ride her um, later. Have a little ride now, ready for the final tomorrow. Holding my phone in this hand, it feels so wrong. Yeah, it looks really wrong. Anyway, I know, but I like my camera videos. I loved it at Kiso when I could video Ruby and Ryan. I'm walking. There is a baby. Walking and treating. Hey, you're the beautiful cow. Luna's a beautiful cow. Luna's a beautiful cow. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Oh, Luna Patuni. Luna Patuni. What are you doing? Mary's all plotted. Ready for a four-year-old class this morning. Uh, fourth to go, ignore my hair, ill. Um, they're fourth to go in the four-year-old final. I'm just going to go and get changed now and sort my hair out because I look like a tramp um, and wash my face. Mm. Mm. Grooms. Yeah. Good girl, Mary. Rider. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get a picture of his sister. Mary's trying to eat my pocket. <laughs> Where's my finger? Is there? He looks so pretty.
<laughs> yeah, yeah, that was music playing again. So I'm just going to quickly do a little voiceover of Scarlet's round in the four old final Mary. So she just did the same thing as me and tried into number one, which I thought she jumped really, really lovely. Properly jumped that. And then number two, I think Mary was a bit cheeky as my number two was the exact same place and she jumped it. So I think Scarlet was probably a little bit relaxed, which I don't blame her as I wasn't expecting her to stop. And Mary was a little bit cheeky. So it came back around, popped it. And then afterwards, the round was absolutely lovely. Um, Scarlet rode her so, so well. There she popped really nicely, a lot less tense coming past the stands. And then to this double, she had a little bit of a spook, as you'd have seen. But Scarlet just kept her straight and she popped through that really nicely. Um, I just thought this round was a lot better. I mean, Scarlet wasn't getting her deep like I was. Um, she popped around really, really nicely and confidently. Yeah, okay, maybe it might have looked a little bit fast at times. But in reality, we just wanted her around confidently, which is exactly what happened, you know. Like, she jumped around so confidently, so beautifully, like, considering this is her second ever show, you know, like, what do we expect? And also, th down this distance, um, she just got a little bit deep into the second part of the distance, that Oxa, but that's normal for her, she's got such a big stride, she just needs to learn to set herself up, which will come in time as she gets stronger, um, then came around to number nine, popped that really nicely, and then it was a bit of, a, like, a dog leg to this, which I, she wasn't expecting, so she had, like, a little spook, um, but Scarlet kept her in, she jumped it really well, and then she cut her down and popped the last really nicely. Try and take her. <laughs> Pretty much all. Look at her, she's like, please yeah, take yeah, them out. Oh, oh, we're doing it, good girl, thank you. Good girl. <laughs> I'm more than... Oh, he's biting the chain? He's getting annoyed now, they're annoying me. There he was, away, good girl. For our final, she just had a stop at number three, two, and then um, she had a pole. Unfortunately, Scarlett's just not used to her, bless her. Um, but she rode her really well. I think she just wasn't expecting her to stop and she went to jump it and then just stopped and run out. Naughty girl, this is wow, it's a very simple jump that was very naughty of you. And then distance was just um, it was she couldn't have done anything better to be honest. Um, it was a really short four and she's got such a long stride, she's done like three in a little one. Um, and while she's just weak, she just couldn't pick up. But she's done really, really well. I'm very confident. I'm very pleased with you. Yes, we are. Um, she's just having her ice boots on now. Um, and then we'll Lily we'll jump the five year old and then we'll go home. Yeah. Recovery mesh time. Moo moo. Here we go. Just gonna watch Lily now and the five year old and then we'll be off home. Won't we? Yes. Home time. He's like, yes, please. Camera. I know we go Mary over there. Oh. My wife says, What's happened, Mummy? It's your fingy. What's happened to your fingy, Mummy? Oh, you trying to see if I'm okay. You can't eat it. You can't eat it, baby. Are you okay, mommy? He says. Are you okay? Oh, baby, you can't. Eat, you can't eat it. No, I missed you. I did. I missed you, baby. I missed you, baby. Baby, baby. Oh, Mary, look at your nice big bed. Come to be home. You know, I want more food. 
I want more food. My baby. Hello, chicken. Hello, beautiful boy. Hi, hey guys. Say hi, Mary. Say hi. Say hi. I just realised, well, I haven't just realised, but I realised I never actually finished the vlog. And I went to start editing it, and I was like, oh. I didn't even do an outro, um, but hey, it's me, Mary's got my hood, thanks Mary, just pulled it off my shoulder, <laughs> um, great, into the week, right, hey, what's your, what's your ball? what are you doing, don't bite, don't bite my hair, no, Mary, I don't even know where I got to, to be honest, explaining to you guys how the week went, but as you can see, I'm a cripple, and if my hair like suddenly it's darker, it's because I have my hair dyed. Um, but we're back. Um, it's now like three days since we've been back. Um, I couldn't kind of finish the vlog the day we got back because literally as soon as we got home, the horses went out in the field. I was off to Amy again um, to basically go back to have another x-ray done because apparently the hospital near Western Lawns <laughs> couldn't transfer my x-rays over. So I had to have all new x-rays taken down this way so i went and waited in hospital again for like another three hours um to have more x-rays done they'd left the cast on um but i basically they didn't even look at the x-rays which was annoying that day so basically i had to have the x-rays i had to wait for the x-rays to be looked at and then i was told that um i would they would make me an appointment with the fracture clinic like an online and a phone call appointment almost to review my x-rays um so i had the phone call yesterday but they basically said um that they were going to take this cast off and just put a splint on my finger which was really strange because um when we went to the hospital up at western lawns he said that i was going to need to see a hand specialist and i would need to have pins in my finger because it was a serious break um so it was just really strange that they made it out to be like nothing down here um so i basically explained to her what they told me up at western lawns hospital and um she told me that she was going to um send the x-rays off to the actual hand specialist because she didn't and um she'll call me back so she called me this morning and um i've got an appointment on friday it's currently wednesday with the hand specialist at the hospital closest to us um to review our ex review my x-rays and basically um go through what the plan is and whether i'm going to have pins or not i don't actually know what the hell is going on to be completely honest um but i just kind of want to be done with it now like it really hurts and i'm useless i literally can't do nothing because um, I've only got two things out, these, which is these two, so I can't even grip onto anything. So I'm literally using my left hand to film, and my left hand is so useless. But, little recap of Western Lawn. So I, don't, I can't remember if I updated you guys as to what, happened, what went on, but on the first day, Mary had a pole in the AT, um, and then went clear and was equal first in the four-year-old qualifier, so she qualified for the final. Um, and then day two, she had the day off, um, didn't do anything that day, just watched my friends jump, um, and then day three, she jumped the four-year-old qualify again, but in the main arena that time, um, and she had two down, but they were both completely my fault, I got her way too deep, I was just holding on to her too much, um, so she had two down, um, she jumped really well though, and was really, really good, considering how spooky that arena was, and it's her, only her second ever show, and the first time I'd ever actually cantered around the course was on the first day. Um, so she was most definitely the greenest four-year-old in the class by miles. Um, so the fact that she even jumped around, I was really, really happy with. Sorry, continuing on. Um, then she had the fourth day off um, again, which is the day that... No, actually it was the third day. The end of the third day this happened. Uh, she had the fourth day off, which was a great day for me. Like, she was doing nothing at all, couldn't help, couldn't do anything. I felt so useless, still do now. Um... Uh, yeah, so Scarlett just rode her, as you would have seen in some of the some of them clips. She was to sit on her to have a little feel, as that was her first time she'd ever actually rode her. And then the fifth day was the last day, and that was the day she jumped the four-year-old final. Um, she jumped really, really well. She was a really good girl, really confident. Um, she just had that silly run out at number two, which um, I think was just uh miscommunication between the two of them and um, i think it was a little bit cheeky on mary's behalf because 
um, the number two in my qualifier that I rode her in was in exactly the same position and actually my number two was a lot bigger and had fillers under it. Um, it was actually the exact same jump, just with the fillers added. Um, so she would have been more likely to have run out when I had jumped her in there. But she was very cheeky to run out and I think that Scarlett also was a little bit relaxed, which I don't blame her as she was being so well behaved, so we really wasn't expecting her to run out. Um, but that just proves you always have to be there behind them um, as they can just kind of catch her off guard, which I think is exactly what happened because then after that she jumped a beautiful round um, and then she just had um number i think it was number eight down which was just um an oxa down a distance it was quite a short um well actually it was a normal four strides but mary really eats up the ground just a really big stride um so it was like three and a little one for her just where she's too weak to sit herself up yet um she's just struggled down it and to be fair she has to learn to sit herself up and she still obviously isn't doing that um so she needs to have poles down really to do that it's only going to happen through trial and error so yeah she just had that down um but otherwise she jumped lovely and in reality we couldn't really be happy with her she behaved really oh, really incredibly throughout the whole week um and she did start off really really unsettled in her stable um but by the third day she was really relaxed and was kind of just taking in the atmosphere she was being perfect to how walk first time that she ever stayed in as well she'd never stayed in her stable during the day and um, she's always been out in the field at mine um during the day she's never stayed in and then before she lived out um so we wasn't really sure how she, how she was going to feel, especially as them stables there were very, very um, tight. So, yeah, we didn't really know how she was going to cope. But to be fair, she was a really, really good girl. Um, so, yeah, I couldn't complain about that. Um, so, yeah, it was a bit of a mixed show. I'm really sorry about the kind of lack of footage that I managed to get. Um, There's not much vlogging. Like, it was... A bit tough i hate vlogging in front of people which is why i've kind of just suddenly appeared indoors because um people, my mom and my sister come over to finish horses off and i just didn't want to carry on vlogging um but this is me updated at the moment doing nothing um so yeah hopefully um you guys will see my finger updates um on instagram and kind of thank you for watching this very strange vlog um this isn't how i expected it to end at all um but you know it is what it is and hopefully onwards and upwards from here unfortunately you'll probably not see many many vlogs from me for a while um until i can get back riding again as i literally can't even film like i'm trying to work my phone on my left hand is just painful i literally can barely type um or do anything so it's literally taking me twice as long to write captions i'm literally hating it so much i'm literally hot on my phone half of what i usually would be i thought i would just quickly come on and just give you guys a little hand update as you'd have seen <laughs> in my ear i haven't got a castle anymore but you see how swollen that is look at my knuckle it's like popping out of the thing if you look at my two knuckles Tell me that's not gross. Tell me that is not gross. Anyway, so I didn't post this vlog when I was supposed to. Um, it's quite late. <laughs> I said it was going to be up by Friday. It's now Sunday and it's still not posted. It's going up tonight, I promise. Um, but quick update because I know that you guys are probably thinking Kerry's fad enough of you talking now. But I thought I might as well up your, update you guys on what happened at the hospital on Friday. Um, just... Yeah, basically I thought I'd update you guys rather than being like, oh, look at my Instagram, because I'm here, might as well do it. So, went to hospital on Friday, literally spent the whole day at the hospital, um, saw the hand specialist. So we went in, um, no, went in, had x-rays done first, went to the hand specialist guy, um, had our appointment, and he basically said we could have two options, it was either surgery or um, splinting it. So he was like, right, I'm going to try and manipulate the bone. Um, if you don't like stuff like this, please skip it. <laughs> um, he said, we're going to try and manipulate the bone by obviously putting like um, anaesthetic in my finger um, to basically numb it. So he could like move the bone around to see if he could get it back in place. Because he needed to get the bone back in line as my finger was a little bit bent. Um, so he put two needles in my hand honestly it was absolutely awful i hate needles so much absolutely awful i literally wanted to scream um put the needles in my hand numb my finger up went back in again after waiting for my finger to be numbed um and he literally was pulling my finger around pulling the bone around trying to get him in, in a, like a line properly 
um, to see if we could just splint it and leave it to heal. Literally, it hurt so much. Considering my finger was meant to be numb, I could feel it. And I was literally screaming in this room. When I come out, everyone was looking at me like, what the hell is going on in there? Because I literally was screaming. Because, I, honestly, it hurt so badly, even though my finger was numbed. And I could just feel... Oh, I don't even want to explain it, because if you guys don't like stuff like this, you'll hate it. Anyway, went back for another x-ray to see if he'd aligned it properly. Unfortunately, he didn't. Um... The x-rays that you saw at the start of this vlog were actually the x-rays from today, um, from Friday, but I was just too lazy to put in loads of different x-rays. So that is what my finger looks like now. Obviously, we couldn't get it aligned because there's more than one break to it, um, so it was not possible. So, yeah, he basically said, unfortunately, even though I tried to straighten it, there's no way it's going to heal itself. So I'm having an operation on my finger. Great. Um, I don't know when right now, so it's currently Sunday, and he said Friday, so possibly um, in five days. I'm waiting for a call, I'll probably get a call tomorrow, where obviously it's the weekend at the moment, they're not going to be calling me. Hopefully I get a call tomorrow to kind of tell me that my operation's on Friday, I'm keeping everything cross it's Friday. As I want this done over, and I want this done as quick as possible, you know, like I want to start riding again. I'm already so bored, and feel so useless, it honestly is so horrible watching people wrap my horses, I'm hating it so much. Um, so I'm just hoping the ex that the operation goes well and I won't be missing out riding for much for much longer. I was meant to be going on holiday um, in a couple of weeks, but that won't be happening anymore, which is absolutely gutting. I actually haven't been on holiday for like four years. So yeah, it's um, really disappointing, especially as I'm missing out on a lot of shows now with the horses as well. So yeah, not great, um, but I just thought I'd come on and just give you guys a little update. Um, so yeah, I'll send you back. So yes, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and to show you guys, to show me your love for this. Because I could have easily have stopped vlogging and not finished this vlog. So please appreciate my, the time and effort I put into finishing this for you guys. Um, yeah, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and hopefully next time you see me, I won't be in a cast. No, she got the good vibes when seasons change. But we're the same